Hi, welcome back to Coding Games in Python. In this video, we'll talk about mouse inputs. So we saw last time that uh, on draw and on update help us do animation. Uh, in this video, we'll see that uh, on mo on mouse motion and on mouse press will be called whenever mouse events occur. On mouse motion has um, some important parameters that we want to talk about: x, y, dx, and dy. So on mouse event, the, the mouse event on mouse motion is call whenever the mouse moves and the xy parameters are the corners of the mouse pointer and the dx dy parameters give the distance between the mouse travel to get to the current location so it basically tells you uh, the previous location plus dx dy to get to the current location so for example this allows us to uh, know what direction the player should look uh, we won't talk too much about that otherwise I think uh, for the most part we just look at x and y then on mouse press uh, is called whenever uh, the mouse is pressed and the XY represent again the position of where the mouse was pressed the button uh, represent uh, which mouse is pressed and so for example we can detect it by uh, looking at some constants that have been defined in the library so RK dot mouse button left mouse button right mouse button middle allows to decide which of the mouse uh, uh, button is pressed and then the modifier is very similar. It's actually the same thing as the the keyboard modifier that we talked about in the last video. And so, for example, we can press Control and then click, or press Shift and then click, etc. And then uh, there's also uh, a similar function on mouse release, and everything is the same for on mouse release. We can also allow uh, the mouse points to be visible or not. Uh, so the rk.window class has a method set mouse visible we can uh, enter either true or false and, and it will either show or hide the mouse pointer so let's look at a couple examples uh, of how to control an object using the mouse inputs so here this again we're gonna be on Visual Studio Code I'm gonna open the folder I created uh, a new folder uh, mouse inputs and uh, it has a couple of uh, t starter code that we can work with so let's open this. Okay, let's look at the uh, mouse motion uh, file. So, okay, notice as before uh, we have the on draw, and then in this case we now have uh, the on mouse motion uh, that we can uh, work with to detect mouse motion. Again, this is uh, let's see. So here's the uh, constructor of the game window. So we set the background color to be white. So let's set up some uh, variable that can help us with uh, uh, with this. So let's create a center x as before. So let's make it at the center of the screen. Center y. And then we're going to do a circle right now. So let's just do a radius. And let's make it say 50. So that's uh, the position of the, the circle. And then uh, when we draw, we're going to just draw draw circle fill, and we're going to draw it at south dot at center x, center y, and the radius is south dot radius. We also have to do the color, rk.color, let's do um, red. So we're going to draw a circle at that position. And then on the mouse motion, we're going to basically just move the circle to wherever the mouse is. And so we're just going to say, we're going to change the center x of the, of the circle to be exactly the x coordinate of the mouse. And then in the same way, center y of the circle is the same thing as the y coordinates of the mouse and so that's it let's uh, run this code and see what it does so notice if I move my mouse then uh, the circle just move according to the position of my mouse but notice also the, that my mouse uh, pointer is visible so I can go back and so let's go to the constructor and say that I want to set mouse visible to be 
false. So if I do that and run this again, notice now that um, everything's the same except that uh, I don't see my mouse pointer. Okay, another example I want to do is the. Um, so this example is actually this, the exact same example as the previous video with the keyboard inputs. Um, so we have a, a rectangle at center x, center y, and change x, change y. Then you remember that in that one, if I press uh, left, uh, left, right, up, down, then my um, rectangle will move accordingly. If I release it, it will stop. So this is the same uh, example, except now we're going to add in another function, another method uh, on mouse press. So that if I click on the mouse, then we want something else to happen. So this is um, the event handler for the, for that. So what I want to do now is actually, this is actually very simple. Uh, so again, if I press somewhere, then I know where where the the mouse is pressed based on x y. So I'm just gonna do this: uh, change the center x to be x, and then the center y to be y. And so let's uh, run this. So, th so this is the example we saw earlier with the key uh, key press. But now notice if I were to move my mouse and I click here, it would jump to that new position. If I click here, it would jump. So in addition to having the keyboard moving the uh, character, we can also uh, jump around with the, the mouse press. So again, this is to illustrate the basic uh, mouse inputs. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I want to show in this video. Oh, one last thing I want to point out is that if I set this to be true, then my um, pointer, my mouse pointer, will be will be shown. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.